She's a woman, obviously. He is a man, and he lets you know it. We are married, and happily so. From the first time we met, we knew we were meant for each other. We feel blessed. Still, we see our world differently. Our views on life, and life experiences are divergent. Yet, we complete each other, knowing that we are nothing without each other. Living together is like a storm in a teacup. We rage, we spill to the table, but we always clean up together. He's a sexist. There, yeah, I said it. I mean, if I wasn't married to him, I would say he's a misogynist. She identifies as a feminist. I'm sure she only has a peripheral understanding of what that term actually means. That's my wife for you. You see, the beautiful thing about our life is, even when we disagree, the reason we disagree is pretty much the same. That might sound confusing, right? Just listen, okay? When my office employed her first female branch manager, I was angry. Not because I don't think women shouldn't be in position of power, but because women should be in position of power based on merit not based on the need to conform to some societal precepts. You know, the kind you would call gender equality. First woman this, first woman that. Women should not accept being accommodated. They are above that. That's my opinion. I disagree, and strongly so. More women should be put in this position of power as a matter of course. Most men who are in this position of power are in this position not based on merit. It is patriarchy at play. And my darling husband knows this. This flagging of merit is just maintaining. Is patriarchy just maintaining status quo? Employing people based on standardized criteria, not based on what is between their legs, man or woman. Why do you always sound like this? Aren't you tired of sounding like, like, like a crack disc? Huh? Only when you get the point, my darling. Oh, sorry, you caught us at our favorite pastime. You see, much as we love our life, we love watching other people live their lives. You can call it people watching. Look at that man. He's proposing to the lady. Looks like it's her birthday. What, what nonsense. <sighs> Rubbish. <sighs> wow. Ah, cool. Good evening. Yeah, evening. I see you don't approve. What is wrong? Go look at that guy. Everything is wrong. Look. This lady is applying internal misogyny by accepting this guy's proposal on her birthday. This is stealing, our, stealing an attention on our birthday because of patriarchal concepts due to what marriage is. <sighs> He's even kneeling to propose to her after Ebube DK said any man who needs to propose to a woman is more than an idiot. He's a fool, a compound fool. Hey. Any man who needs to propose to a woman is only losing his self-respect. Hey, see, uh, they are happy. They are happy together. 
Isn't that all that matters? Happy? Yes. Uncle, you think man and woman should relate based on what makes them happy? Don't you want men and women to live by a particular philosophy? All you want for them is to be happy? <sighs> I'll see, let me tell you. You see, the, 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 the only thing that we see here, the pursuance of sources, the pursuance of happiness, the pursuance of happiness is the ultimate purpose of life. Happiness? Yes. Happiness is like nailing spaghetti to a wall. It just doesn't stick. There is more to life. Life is more, uncle. Oh. I can't watch this anymore. Nah, I'm done. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to join my wife. They love it.